Welcome. I'm very excited to present you the work that we've been working on for the past couple of years, where we are developing a new viral vector for improved focus ultrasound VBB opening gene delivery. So what we found is something similar to what we've seen in other groups work. We found that depending on the sequence of the capsid, depending on the serotype of AV, we either have worse or better efficiency of delivery following the focus ultrasound VBB opening. And we're asking a question, what would happen if we took the best AV that we have, for example, AV9 in our case, and modify this capsid even further and see whether that modification could improve the efficiency of delivery even further. So we decided to adopt this method for the AV engineering that is based on the CRE recombination and detection of the DNA that has been transfected into cells using PCR. So what we've done is we introduced several amino acids into the capsid of AV9. In this case, it was seven amino acids between the amino acids 588 and 589. And then we also had a part of the genome in the virus that can be modified by a CRE enzyme. Now, if the CRE enzyme is present in the cell, it will modify the DNA and will make it detectable using a PCR. So what we've done next is we took mice that have CRE enzyme in neurons, and we have delivered the library of viruses, 1.3 billion different viruses, into the mouse intravenously, and then opened the blood-brain barrier in only one hemisphere. And then after a period of expression and period of delivery of the virus to the brain, which took 14 days, we have extracted the brains of the mice, both the hemisphere that has been targeted to focus ultrasound and the hemisphere that has not been targeted with focus ultrasound, the control hemisphere. We then extracted the DNA, performed the PCR on it, and then next generation sequencing to see what sequences are specific only to the targeted hemisphere. We performed this a couple of times and we got some interesting data and potentially improved AVs that improved the gene delivery efficiency following FUS BBBO. So this is the rough summary how the experiment went down. In the panel A, what you will see is the BBB opening sites. So there's four BBB opening sites in one hemisphere. These white spots that you are seeing with the arrowheads are of course the sites of extravasation of gadolinium contrast agent in MRI following FUS BBBO. And out of our 1.3 billion sequences, we found that when we did the BB opening weighted and extracted by PCR and next gen sequencing, we obtained 15,500 different sequences. So we took this 15,500 sequences, re injected them into mouse for a confirmation, and this round two yielded 2,100 different sequences. Out of these sequences, we selected five that are most enriched. In the, in the brain in the targeted hemisphere and are not found in the untargeted hemisphere. So this can be summarized by this graph on this panel C that shows all different levels of uh, efficiency of delivery for either an untargeted hemisphere on the vertical axis or to the target hemisphere, FUSBB open hemisphere on the horizontal axis. The red dots are the five different AV serotypes that have the best transfection efficiency in the FUSBB targeted site but at the same time do not transfect the untargeted sites uh, by just being BBB permeable. So to give you a brief rundown on how did it go, uh, in terms of the efficiency of delivery to the brain, we have about twofold improvement in the efficiency of delivery of AV FUS compared to AV9, and the original parent AV, um, per the virus injected. So we have more efficiency of delivery to the brain, but interestingly, we also have a decreased efficiency of delivery of the genes to the peripheral uh, tissues, such as the liver. So at the same time, we improve the delivery to the brain and decrease the peripheral transfection, increasing potentially the specificity of the liver. So in summary, what we have done is we've done a high throughput screening of mutated AVs inside the mouse that led to improved FUSBBO gene delivery and improved tissue specificity. Our gene delivery efficiency to the brain is about twofold better, meaning that you will have to use twofold lower dose of the virus to achieve the same levels of transduction. However, we also have a le significantly less efficiency in delivering genes to the peripheral tissues, meaning that our targeting efficiency, the brain targeting efficiency, is about 12 fold better for one of these candidates. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me on js170 at rice.edu, and I will be happy to respond to you quickly. So um, yeah, I'll be happy to respond to you quickly.